an hour passed and I found myself having a lot of fun at this party. Later, I told Leo I was going to use the bathroom and I slipped away. When I get to the hallway where the bathroom was, I saw a girl around my age. She was sitting in a chair with her head hung low. Who that lady over there in the chair? What fucking lady? Ain't no lady in here. <laughs> I stepped closer and I saw it was one of the popular girls that make fun of me at school. She was beautiful. She had red hair and brown orbs. Her makeup was perfect. Her lipstick was the color of fire. She stood up and eyed me up and down. Hmm, so you're the girl that Leo keeps talking about. I stay away from him, you know. He's got secrets. Not the Dollar Tree version of Cheryl Blossom thinking that she can have an attitude. She's the pretty popular girl. What did you expect? Hold on, is this a Riverdale fanfic? Secrets? Like like what? Wancho asked a teacher that he got fired because they hung out after school one too many times. Whoa! Roses are red, cacti are prickly, holy shit that escalated quickly. Oh good god, this is a Riverdale fanfic. At the official Archie Andrews, hey yo, this you? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, reporting this whole account, be right back. I watched as she stepped closer to me and asked me, Where'd you get your dress? The trash. <laughs> Stop! My mother gave it to me. Mother? Let me tell you something about mothers. My own mother thought I was a monster. She was right, of course, but it still hurt. <laughs> I swear to god you're gonna get blocked. My own mother told me anything I want, I can have, and what I want is Leo, so stay out of my way. <laughs> what? Why would she want someone who slept with his teacher? She then slapped me and I fell to the floor. <gasps> the floor! First the locker, then the stairs. Now the floor! Justice for all. This isn't fair. <laughs>